Hello and welcome. Yabby's first game with Heroic. Let's fucking go. Now, Yabby is obviously the man who's been brought into Heroic to replace Refresh. Uh, I don't think Refresh is a bad player by any stretch of the imagination. However, he did massively underperform uh, on LAN, in LAN settings. So it's unsurprising that Heroic decided to dump Refresh. It didn't look like there were major problems with the team, but they somehow just seemed to kind of crumble when it mattered in, in LAN environments. So... First round, it looks like Yabby was the guy who was just going to sit on the extremities. They're using Stavon as kind of like a fake lurk. I feel like they're trying to make this look like a lurk. Okay. Doesn't look like they baited much out. And they're now going to leave Yabby. Interesting, actually, from Heroic Gear there. So, they've sh so they showed Stan. Now they're going to show Yabby. So Sprout might think there are at least two here and that they're probably going to commit to sitting on B. So Heroic's rotation, pretty funky. Also done decent damage. Spiddy is kind of... Is that Spiddy? Yeah, Spiddy is kind of stuck at barrels. Okay, Heroic didn't get too much off of it, but it was kind of cool to keep the rotations. It, it just keeps Sprout guessing as to what they're doing. Um, Yabby so far just kind of playing the extremity. Looks like he's probably swapped in one form of refresh. I can't remember exactly what positions refresh played for Heroic, but he was kind of a, the lurk. Yeah, he's going to play the lurk on tier, looks like. He's heard the rotations... So this one should be pretty chill. We're just going to speed through because he's knowing any action. Yeah, this is just absolutely done. So, Okay, cool. Good first round from Roik. Not much for Yabby to do there, but when you're playing the Lurk, particularly if you're like an extremities Lurk, so you're the guy literally the opposite side of the map to what's happening, um, there's a limit to what you can do, really. If, if Sprout choose not to do any like aggressive rotations there, so four lean early from Sprout. We can see that in the top left. Four lean on B. Yabby looks like he's probably just going to be at this monster tunnel like every round, except maybe on set rounds where they have another job for him. Not really much to be writing home about in this one. A little bit of spam. Oh, is he going to hit that nade? No, he doesn't hit the nade. So Heroic now decides to peace out because they reckon they probably dragged the full set of rotations so they're going to head back upstairs sprout have to make a decision at this point they've decided to rotate two to a but yeah this is just not much is going to be happening here i don't think for sprout heroic should it looks like sprout might even be committing to a save yep we're just going to speed through the rest of this round yabby's going to go on a bit of a hunt but i don't think he's going to find anything shush might get something here with his mac daddy Oh, he doesn't even go for it. He doesn't fully sack the Mac Daddy. I thought Shush might just sack off his Mac 10. But he decides not to. 2 0 Heroic. Again, not much to write home about thus far. Yeah, but he's had very little to do in these couple of rounds. Good little double peek there, but they're not on much sprout. And yeah, this B site is open for the taking. This is kind of rough. Cadian's picked up another water player. The guy in shorts dead. And the guy in water is dead. So this round is done. But we get the buy up in the next from Sprout. It's a reasonably healthy one. Expect to probably see more of the same from Sprout. They're playing fairly default, quite passive defense, although they've actually gotten somebody in connector and somebody aggressive bathrooms this round. Doesn't look like we're going to see any B aggression this time round. Ah, see, so their uh, aggressive play, I think it was Stare in... Yeah, it was in connector. So the Sprout aggression pays off. They can potentially crunch connector hit all. Hmm... Not bad on the first shot. Not much you can do when the trade comes through. Good bit of aggression from Sprout. We'll just move on to somebody else the rest of this round. Uh, Heroic still have chances here. They've obviously got the AKs, the one-shot headshot. They're grouping up. Looks like they're going to try and go for B. Are they going to... Yep, silent drop or fine. They're just going to contact on B. Uh, this is the right call. They've gotten lucky here. Shush with that opener is very important. Nah. Kadian needed to get the trade frag there. Shush got the opener. Opia? Uh, Kadian needed to get the trade frag to make that work. And that run was very doable. 
Yep, so Monster Lurk again from Yabby. Very passive this round because he is literally just there to hold aggression. Fairly aggressive on B Sprout. They've got somebody up short. What's number four doing? Ah, so he's tucked in. Okay, so they've got two towards the short area. So yeah, Yabby needs to be careful here. They've made the right read, though. Nothing at Monster, one at Barrels. Can Yabby get this shot? Molly's going to come through for Barrels. Of course he does. He makes them every day of the week. Wait, what the fuck is Starman doing? What the fuck did he just do? Why did he do that? They're going to win the round anyway, but what the fuck was Starman doing there? Jesus Christ. My man just full on went anime betrayal mode. Absolutely wrecked Gabby. Are they like hazing the new guy? Like, what the fuck was that shit? Okay, it's all good though. The round, uh, it's the only player they lose in the round. Oh, no, okay. They lose one at the end of the hunt. Yeah, that was weird. That was bizarre. Uh, Sprout timing out. They've got nothing this round. So the next round will be probably when the timeout comes. Yeah, Sprout are probably asking themselves. What they can do. They're getting worked pretty well by Heroic. Heroic are very good on this map, to be fair. I feel like I feel like this map suits the Heroic playstyle. There's a lot of space and room to kind of play their weird, kind of hectic, many rotation style. It's going to go down along here. Yeah, yeah, but he's just fully sitting on the rotates. Stair actually gets two out along, which is pretty good, but it's probably not enough. Heroic just holding, Yabby getting info. He might have think they left there, which is why he heard steps. He might have thought they left, which is why he's investigating here. Yes, yeah, unfortunately, he heard the steps and assumed they were leaving. Uh, this is still winnable for Heroic. Yeah, shush. Reliable old shush, man. Hits those shots every day of the week. So yeah, not much Yabby can do on that one. He hears the steps, takes a bit of a gamble, thinking they might be leaving, um, and his MAC-10 is horribly suited for the fights he's taking there because it's like headshot angles that the CTs are holding. So, But thus far, doing his job, doing what needs to be done. Heroic playing pretty nicely. Not much really for Yabby to do so far on this T side. But Monster Lurk can be one of the least glamorous positions, um, depending on how you play it. You can play it aggressively, and uh, somebody who does it quite a lot is Ents from Sphinx. He would do it a lot. Uh, and Navi used to do this thing with Electronic and Boomich, where they would sort of have Electronic lurking, but with Boomich for a bit of support at the monster, and then 3 would kind of default towards A. Um, there's interesting things you can do on Overpass, I think, with default. Wow, they get the double nade on... Was that double or triple? Oh, I'm not on Yabby. Fuck. Might be. I missed Yabby throwing the nade. Well, Yabby threw the nade with KD in the preset nade for the jump up. And they hit it. So that's a free kill. Not too bad. You know, not too shabby. Yeah, Yabby very much willing to kind of be the one pushing forward and taking space. Good routing on the site. Mm, doesn't clear that though. That is a little bit lazy. Yeah, and Rowles, wow, gets three. Holy shit, Rowles. That's a massive play. Yeah, Yavi didn't check that one. That was a little bit... Mm. I wonder if it was called clear at a certain point. Who knows? How did Rowles get out? I didn't even see him leave. Shush nervous to try and get the bomb. Really nice aggressive play. He knows it's the AWPer, so he closes the distance and tries to get the peak on him rather than give the AWPer the fights he wants. I, I suspect Shush uh, knows it's the AWPer there, gets a call from somebody to say it's Slacks, and that it's likely an AWP. It's the right play to push up there. So Heroic better in the clutches at the moment. Um, Yabby very much willing to just sack his life, it seems. Yeah, he's just going to be the monster lurk. Just throwing some utility to keep Sprout honest on B. Sprout have taken water control already, though. But the way Yabby is playing, the, the default from Heroic has that in mind. Understands that control of uh, construction, sorry, can be lost. They still lose one. Was that to a boost? It looked like that might have been to a boost on the railings through the windows in Connector. 
Wow, okay, and then everyone. Okay, so this is a big round for Yabby because this is all on him. He's got space to work with. This is all on him, whether he can get some frags here. Nice spot on the boost, really, really nice. Okay, so this makes the round much more doable. They have the bomb site. Kadian is holding for rotations at the moment. Where's he holding? He's holding top con. No, bottom of con. He's actually just listening for footsteps and trying to figure out where they've gone. He's trying to get as much information for Yabby as possible. So he knows a backstab is coming through, Kadian, because I think he heard Spiddy, which is why Yabby's checking it. Kadian is creeping up short, trying to find a gap. Yeah, perfect. Really, really well played. So where is the rest of this going down? Kadian's got the bomb down. Oh, quick enough. Yeah, this has been really well played. Kadian, mm, is this winnable for Yabby? Uh, they're sticking. Yeah, not winnable. Well, I mean, it is winnable, but he doesn't know that he's on it. Oh, nice. Okay, he wasn't on it. He got off it. If Slax had stuck it with a kit, I don't didn't see if he had a kit, but if he had a kit and stuck it, he would have got that there because Yabby was playing like they were tapping it, which is probably the smarter play in that 2v1 is to tap the bomb. Fair, like To be fair to Sprout, I think tapping is the, the right play there because if Yabby's set up, Is tapping at the right play? I don't know. Maybe someone should stick it and someone should play bodyguard. Depends on if they have a kit or not, I think. If they have a kit, they definitely someone should stick it, probably. Um, whoever pushed up and took the bathrooms fight maybe slightly misplays that, I think. Kadian loses the fight. Yabby is waiting for a timing, it looks like. Yeah, Heroic a bit scuffed now because of that. This is uh, holding fairly passive. It looks like they were going to do that kind of B thing where you send Yabby in for like investigations, but with some actual grenade support and shit. Oh, he's mooning. He's going to the moon. Sliding up a wall all the way to Earth's nearest satellite, which is the moon. Okay, so going on the smoke fade, cool. Sprout have given this monster room a lot, and it's tended to not work out too well for Sprout. Really nice clear from Yabby. That was fucking sick. Creating the space, I like it. Yeah, uh, that was sick from Yabby. That was a really, really nice round. He cracks open the bombsite there completely. Really nice jiggle and shot on the first guy pillar, and then he knows that he's got to put the second guy pillar under pressure. Because otherwise pillar could be really nice because you have like those two angles. You can kind of fight either side. It's quite a nice um, spot to be holding. I'm not calling it dildo, by the way. I'm not 12. <laughs> they go for the boost. <laughs> Little do they know that Sprout have no interest and are chilling all the way at long. Don't give a fuck. Don't want any part of this. So Sprout are in a big old hole now. They can't really afford a proper buy. It's going to be scuffed because they're going to have to drop. Slax is going to have to drop one and Stairs going to have to drop one. Or are they going to just keep the money equal? Nope, they're going to go for the buy. They didn't drop. Okay, so they went for a partial instead to keep money for a buy next because the lost bonus is full. Okay, so instead of going for the drop to get a better buy this time but have... To probably save next, they're going to go for a half by now and then full by on the next. <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> going to clear that this time. And again, this is probably a round Sprout want nothing to do. They probably just save her. So yeah, Sprout really struggling. Um, they're struggling with the entry power of Heroic. Heroic are pretty well coordinated, pretty well drilled on their entries and just mechanically quite skilled players, uh, Heroic, as Yabby showed on that round where he cracked things open at a disadvantage. But also they're, I think, struggling with the mid-round calling from Heroic. They're not reading it very well, which Heroic are hard to read in the mid-rounds. They're, they're a team that's kind of fabled for being that way. So not the hardcore mon... Oh, no, he's going back to buy more nades. Of course he is. I'll pick up more nades. Okay, so they've got a very specific nade setup thing that they're going for. Probably going to spam nade the... Um... <laughs> yeah, be the water boy carrying the fucking grenades. So I assume they're going to set up the double nade 
at some point, maybe. Yeah, the setting up the barrels, Molly. This is barrels, right? I'm pretty sure this is the barrels, Molly. Or is it a short Molly? I think that might have been a short Molly or something. Don't know what that Molly. I don't think that was the barrels, Molly. Because the barrels, Molly, I think is a running lineup. So Yabby is now Bomboy. And he is heading to join up with his team. They're going to link up in middle and probably go for a contact A play. I would have thought they don't have a lot of grenades left. So they're probably going to walk through that smoke. Going to boost over it, maybe? Maybe go for a boosty doosty. Oh, I thought they'd just go for a contact play. I didn't even think they'd throw a smoke. They only thrown the one, though. So, yep, yeah, and now they're just going. The rotates are coming in. They're pretty fast. Oh, I punched my mic. I was going to say, unless Heroic get clean entries, this is a hard round because the rotate came in so fast. 1-4-1 one one is good, though. They get the bomb down. Sprout are having a really rough time calling on the CT side correctly. It's not, not through any major mistakes, but I think they've now kind of been scared into playing a bit more passive. I think they probably need to take more risks. Especially this late in the half when you're already so far down. I think you 100%. The, ex the expected value, like losing a half, uh, you know, 9-6 versus losing it 10-5 or 11-4. Do you know what I mean? Like, you might think, oh, well, the uh, the riskier plays are obviously riskier. You're less likely to win them. But, I don't know. Yeah, well, like I say, when you're this far down in the half, you need to start taking some risks, I think. You can't go for the standard play every time. Slacks is rich as fuck. They're going to go double up. Okay. That's one way of dealing with... The entry power, in theory, is get a free pick with the AWP when Heroic Entry. The problem is Heroic's utility is normally pretty good as well. So, these AWPers will probably find themselves flashed. I don't know. I, don't, I need to know what these mollies all are. I don't recognize all of the lineups. That, I'm 100% sure, was a short molly. He says. All right, what happened? Okay, trading one for one on the AWP is not worth it. For Sprout. Not worth it at all. You'd rather have a 5v5 where the orbs are alive, locking down an angle and stare dying in bathrooms. Yeah, this is already a scuffed round for Sprout. This is really bad. Fucking Slacks is absolutely lost on an island on his own. They do have two on B. They're sticking one in jail, it looks like. Or is he is he playing jail or is he just playing at the back? And Sprout need to do something. They can't just sit and wait for the hit to come. Okay, it looks like they're potentially grouping up for some short aggression. Yeah, it's again, it's not necessarily a bad idea. They have to do something. They can't just sit in the disadvantage and wait. Yeah, but they're just getting wrecked, man. That's so clean from Yabby. Super fucking clean. And this, the flash was about to happen, even if he didn't hit that. So, yeah. Really nice T-side, though, from Heroic. Very, very slick. I like... Yeah, Yabby gets that one easy peasy. Yabby's clean mechanically, man. Up at 10 frags here, and he's not done a lot, a lot of rounds. He's had a couple of very, very impactful rounds, Yabby, on this T side. And this is all you need out of this kind of switch, is you don't need Yabby to be an absolute monster. But Refresh was at a sub-1 rating on LAN. Regularly bottom of the scoreboard in LAN matches. Um, very low impact. So this is what we need to see from Yabby, really. This is all we need to see. He doesn't need to be going fucking bananas, dropping 30s. He just needs to have impact in the rounds where he has the chance to have impact. And I think that's what he's doing here. Every opportunity he's had, realistically, to have some impact, he's he's done it. It's been been impressive. Right, what's the cracking? What's cracking now, then? Uh, two and two, one dead each. Heroic are happy with the one for one trade every day of the week because they have been pulling Sprout to pieces in these mid rounds. More space for them. Forcing Sprout to take some risks is good for Heroic. Looks like fucking, yeah, Tessa's new slags was there. That jail position fucking sucks, dude. It's, it's such a bad spot. I really don't think it's very good at all. I think it's like... I, I wouldn't even use it like once a half. I'd be using it in 5v4s, not in even situations. 
I'd be using it where it doesn't matter so much if I die, just as a weird off angle. I just don't like the spot very much. Um, I mean, if you're slacks, you kind of have to go for this, no? Like, it's it's too, too, too late in the half. 11-4 is way better than 12-3. Yeah, just not quick enough. Not that he should be quick enough there, but... Uh, sorry, Slacks, not looking at you, mate. We're looking at our boy, Yummy! Woo! All right. Oh, it's going to be the triple nades. Yep, throw that a couple of rounds a half. I would have liked to see Sprout fight more aggressively uh, the sort of top and middle fountain area earlier in the half. Slacks has just religiously played here with the AWP and not really had much of a different look on what he's been doing. Yeah, I think I think he's got to be... I don't know. Oh, wow. Good hold from... Lounks? Lounks? Either way, good hold from my man. This round should be done. No reason for Eric not to go for it because they're rich as shit. Yeah, and then they just... Yeah, Sprout have just not gotten the frags they should be getting. They've been out mechanic a lot by Heroic here. Heroic not afraid to split one and one, even though the conventional wisdom says you probably stay together as two and try and trade. Ah, Sprout actually make a read for once. Sprout actually make a read and split one and one themselves. Stair kills, shush. Okay, fucking dokey then. Good job on you, Sprout. Felt like Sprout actually made a read there. <laughs> Kadian with that wild jump. Okay, chill, 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 chill. Slacks, don't die. Okay, good job. I thought Slacks looked like he was going to try and take a fight before Stair got too close, but no. In the end, he did wait patiently. Right, last round of the T-half. Shush has gone fucking Bononos. And everyone else is doing their thing. I buy money! God, look at that. Yeah, that's fucking... A uh, saucy looking red line with bear Ibi power stickers. And yeah, this is... Um, I mean, when the... Not the fucking main part of your default gets two frags, it's kind of over. They're just going to play contact up, eh? Oh, there is somebody close here. Yeah, but he did not. Is he actually close or is he? No, he's not actually close. Okay, my bad. I make a mistake. Uh, Heroic kind of tangling themselves in knots a little bit here. Yeah, this is what Heroic will do sometimes. They will overthink things a little bit and try and be too clever in the mid round. And I think this is a round where they've done so good. More aggressive from Sprout on the re-aggress. I like this. I like seeing... They've whiffed two mollies. Are you fucking serious? Stare. Yeah, they're fucked now. They're locked in. If they try and go back, it's ogre. Browse, you don't have to be that aggressive, man. Yeah, I don't know. There's a yeah, clear golfing class here. That round was all on stair. I feel like the two rounds Sprout of one have been basically completely off stair. He's top dragging for them, so. Right, this is um probably done so, realistically. I know the result, but you know, imagining I didn't know the result, would still say this is probably done so. Just good at doing through the halftime break. Fox egg. I'm at six times speed, so a minute takes ten seconds. I need to fucking change this to like 20 times speed. All right, let's fucking go. So Yabby, yeah, it's going to be a B player. Oh, he might not be a B player full time. They're doing the one mid four B strat. Nothing. So now we're going to see either pushes or retardos. Yep, we already see uh, Stan rotating back. And we see now Tessus rotating back. So they're going to go for a 3-2 split with 2 on B. This is the right call. Sprout with the five-man long creep. Got one clearing bathrooms now. 
interesting to see if this works out. They're going to get close on long, so this is doable for Sprout this round. But they are... Yeah, losing the fights. They needed a clean entry, probably. And they didn't get it. Oh. Problem with the Glocks is you really want them to be, like, running in someone's mouth. And if you kind of get into the site, get stuck, and... Yeah, they... And the USPs get to, like, pick their angles and take their fights with little jiggles and stuff. It's kind of rough, I feel like, with a Glock. I feel like Glocks really do fucking suck nine times out of ten. Such pea shooters, man. So Yabby is going to be a dead EV player. Right, so he's basically just going to play Monster. Oh, he's going for a little aggressive push on construction, you say? Uh, clearing a lot out. Sprout very much bunched up, probably hoping to see somebody making an information play, and then they will grab him down with their Glocks. Yeah, now they lose their Deagle instantly, and it's over. Yeah, he's like, give me some frags! Give me a fucking kill! Oh, he wanted it. He wanted it so bad. Respect, though. He full sprinted. He was like, get out of my way! Stop, pad! Uh, pretty standard spread default from Sprout. Uh, I'm scared for Stare. Yeah, Heroic getting pretty aggressive, showing no real respect yet, and they're just going to pick the default apart. Sprout very spread, no real chance to trade. Yeah, it's kind of default can be punished pretty easily. Tess finds Stare. Yeah. Yeah. And now Yabby's just gonna put him a push. Back to B we go. Is he gonna go for the water push again? Yes, because Sprout have just earned no respect. And yes, yeah, is Yeah, Sprout are losing so much map control at the start of rounds because they've garnered absolutely zero respect. Ah, uh, the nade finds rolls, and this is yeah. Big golfing quality here. Sprout uh, got completely outplayed. And yeah, it's over. Spitty and doing shit with the Galil. Oh, Yabby got the final kill though. Shout out to our boy. Um, so yeah, not really much uh, exciting to write home about in that one. Obviously, we saw some a couple of high impact rounds out of yabby on the t side and that's all he really needs to do is he needs to just get impact in the rounds where he gets the chance to he looks like he's going to be playing that lurk role on t side so it is often dependent on how his team does i'll be interested to see how passively he lurks in general um and he looks like he's going to be kind of extreme small site anchor on um on ct side although it's difficult with heroic because they don't always play necessarily with like a dedicated anchor every round. You know the drill, boys and girls. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you didn't. Let me know what I should do next. And mwah, peace out. Oh, and if you didn't like it, you probably refresh. And to be fair, I did say I thought you were a good player. So I think fair enough, really.